a shopping mall close to the old city of Jerusalem. It's the summer holidays, but business is slow. The few tourists we met were either Jewish or people who like adventure. I feel that Israel is the safest place in the world in spite of what's been happening, and therefore I brought my family to be here and to show the people of Israel that we're with them. I'm not afraid because I love to travel and war doesn't stop me. These visitors bring in vital foreign currency. Confidence among tourists and investors is affected by sentiment. So even if the immediate danger has passed, as long as people perceive there's a threat, they'll stay away. And that can affect Israel not just this year, but also next. Tourism is the lifeblood of the Israeli economy. Pilgrims of all religions come to the old city while sun worshippers head to the beach. But for most tourists, war is the ultimate turnoff. I used to make about 5,000 shekels a month. This was uh, last was in uh, June. And then after that, tourism started dying. Like my July pay was about like 2,500 shekels. And this month it's been completely dead. I hardly made any 500 shekels. Like. Israelis are taking stock of what's been achieved after 50 days of conflict. The images of killing and destruction from the Gaza Strip have tarnished the country's reputation. And the inconclusive ceasefire, which leaves bigger issues unaddressed, has damaged Israel's military deterrence. Israel came out as the Goliath, as uh, the uh, uh, superpower that, uh, or uh, if you like, an elephant that is fighting a fly and not even succeeding. Israelis' satisfaction with their prime minister has dropped dramatically. On July the 23rd, after ground troops entered Gaza, 82% said they approved of his performance. On August the 25th, with the conflict dragging on, only 38% said they were satisfied. So, a few days of rest before the end of the summer break. But it's only a brief respite. Israeli and Palestinian negotiators will soon have to grapple with the big issues that the ceasefire does not address. And if they fail to agree, many Israelis fear the days of quiet will be short-lived.